good afternoon. We're going to be making uh, the use of this tool, uh, which is called the Sweep Boss Base, and uh, I'm probably going to be using as well Shell. So we're going to be using those two. Now, very important here that when you want to use the Sweep Boss Base, there's two planes that you are working on. For example, let's do from uh, let's see top plane. Let's do a circle here. So we do a circle. I don't care about the size. Let's just make a circle or whatever you want. Like this is kind of fun. Um, leave it there. You know, I, I don't care if it's defined or not. But the important is that you have that done in one particular plane, and that's a uh, top plane. See, whatever you do now has to be in a different plane. Like for example, uh, you can use a right plane. Or the front plane. Uh, let's use here of what I'm gonna do a right plane. So that right plane, let's put that, let's build there. Uh, let's put that in this perspective so I can I know what I'm doing. Now let's write a line right from the center and go up. Uh, that's good enough. I don't care about the size, just so that it's right perpendicular to the circle. That's what you really want, that the line be perpendicular to the circle. Now, we want a guideline, because if I use that the way it is, uh, it's going to be a cylinder. I mean, you can you can go very quickly right now to Swept, and if you pick what's going to be the sketch profile, that's going to be this guy, and now you pick with the route gonna be that guy and that's a cylinder there's no big deal there and but that's not what we want we want a very fancy uh, kind of a tabletop that you might you know send to 3d print and do something to it so that's not what we want and here is the story we want a very fancy stuff uh, so we're gonna go again and pick we can pick like for example uh, from playing so the beauty of it is that uh, it's going to the corners here and I mean in essence right so uh, let's pick the front plane and let's build what I'm gonna be using as a guideline for my creation here for my art so with that let's use like this spline and now here's the big deal in, in fact let me put this in such a way that is the front of it so I can I know what I'm doing and now let's pick the end of it and here's the story you pick the end of it and let's start to do some kind of weird stuff here like going back and forth and uh, so let's see uh, that will do that will do a kind of nice one uh, I'll leave it there more or less uh, to that elevation uh, and then escape hit escape there we go now the problem is sometimes it would not work because of the type of point that I choose here, the type of peaking between the line and the circle. They are perpendicular in essence, they are in two separate planes, but uh, the type of point which is coincident is not going to work for us. So we're going to delete that point. Now we're going to pick the point we're gonna pick the line the, the circle and we're gonna use make pewters this is very important this is the trick again let me do it again pick the point the point belongs to the line right so pick the point but I want that point to pierce perforate basically the circle so now they are together check this the the symbol is a kind of different see what I'm the symbol looks like I'm increasing so uh, the symbol is totally different now here's the story I have now the profile that I'm gonna be building the route you know the direction from bottom to up and this is gonna be the guideline for the make art so with those three things together now we go fissures swept and now we start to pick uh, I'm gonna delete some of the stuff here, so because some of them were picked by the, you 
know, before. So um, select sketch or circular profile. In our case, it's gonna be sketch. And that sketch is basically the circle. Oops, sorry for this, delete. Pick this one, put the sketch there. Now the sketch. What would be the direction? Well, the direction will be this line. Pure a cylinder, we, we saw that before, but well, here's the trick. Get the curve, the curve's gonna be a guy. Now, you can see a very fancy uh, creation here. See? That's a kind of nice, let's accept that. And we are done, let's get the, see? Now the next part will be maybe to hollow this, right? So use gen shell and uh, maybe five millimeters. And uh, we're gonna go from there. And there we go. It's kind of nice. Now you can maybe how this part here sounds like a little bit too not sure let's see how much can be smoothed out without creating problem so let's see right now it's 10 that's way too much maybe one or two one two at the most uh, let's accept and that will do oh that's super see how smooth it is now so we got a nice, uh, you know, tabletop. There's something just to put you know, flowers or anything you want. If you do a 3D printing of this, I haven't put the size of anything. Maybe you want to fix a little bit this um, area here. Those edges, I smooth them out. Uh, radio hook two. That is even better. See? So you got a nice. Uh, tabletop to put whatever you want there I mean you can go back and tailor this very quickly like for example let's find out uh, I believe is some um, let's see go here to sweep and it was sketch 3 is the one that create the kind of weird shape so let's use this line again and you can I mean if you don't like what you just fix it don't worry about the others uh, like this or I don't know um, uh, I think that the, the first one was good enough for me it was kind of nice gonna accept that and that's another style you see how we end up so you can play around and uh, eventually you can get to some very nice uh, arts and uh, I like the rendering I have a special rendering here uh, that comes from uh, this real graphic view and uh, so but that's another story all right that's basically it have fun, guys. Bye.